In today's video, we're going to do a mini review, meaning it's going to be a short review of this miniature Morse code iambic paddle. This key is designed and manufactured by Bomatech out of Germany, and I'll put a link down below uh, to where you can go find this on the web. I like operating portable, and I hope to do a lot more of that. And I've traditionally just used a straight key, like this little mini uh, camelback key, and I really enjoy this as well. But I wanted to add a set of paddles to my portable operating arsenal. So this little TP3 uh, mini paddle from Bomatech really fit the bill nicely. This key is just beautifully designed and made, and kind of a unique mechanism. Uh, but it's all uh, made out of aluminum, all anodized. On the bottom there are four very powerful magnets, so you can snap this down to something metal to hold it in place if you want. It's got a nice uh, milled plexiglass cover. And we'll take a quick look at uh, the mechanism and how you adjust it. And a quick little hint, those little cur curly things you see there are not the return springs. They're actually the connections from the paddles uh, to the uh, 3.5 millimeter jack to connect it up to your radio. Now like any good paddle, they are fully adjustable in terms of both the travel for each of the paddles as well as the amount of force required to actuate the paddle. Let's take a look at the mechanism and how those adjustments are made. I'm only showing one of the two paddles for simplicity. Each paddle is this L-shaped piece with a pivot in the middle. So as you push down the paddle to close the contacts, the other end of the lever moves this way back and forth. So there's one set screw that sets the distance between the contact points by adjusting the contact between this lead screw and this arm of the, the paddle. And then the return is actually not done by a mechanical spring, but is done by using a set of opposing magnets. There's one magnet mounted on the end of the lever arm, and the other one at the end of this lead screw. So essentially, to adjust this paddle, you set the distance, you know, how far you want that paddle to travel when you hit it, by adjusting this lead screw first. Then once you've got the distance right, okay, your actuating distance, then you can adjust this set screw in and out, to get these magnets closer or further apart to either increase or decrease the amount of force it takes to actuate the paddle. Well, take a look at the actual paddle itself. We can see each of those L-shaped arms uh, right here. Those adjustment screws can be accessed through uh, you know, right here along the front uh, for the uh, distance travel and then these two in the back adjust those magnets. Now before you adjust those you have to loosen up the there's a hex uh, set screw it locking each of those in place. So you have to loosen those up in order to adjust the adjustments and then once you have them set where you want you can tighten down those set screws to lock those screws in place. Now the paddle is small enough and light enough that if you want to just operate portable with the holding it in your hand that will work just fine. But if, uh, if your rig is a ferrous metal and the little magnets will stick to it you could actually snap this thing right down to the top of your rig or what I've done is I've taken just a small piece of metal and uh, put some self-sticky kind of elastomeric rubber on the bottom of it and uh, by putting the key on that, it snaps down there pretty tight, that holds in place and if I'm on a clean surface that will, will stay in place all by itself or just with one finger I could hold that down and actuate the key. Now I had tried one of these inexpensive uh, paddles you can find on Amazon and eBay all over the place for well under a hundred dollars but uh, I found it was just a little bit heavy and a little bit clunky to adjust and the, and the paddles themselves weren't really secure so it just felt sloppy to use. I mean it works okay and uh, certainly uh, you probably get what you pay for type of a thing. But uh, when I compare this to the Bomantech TP3, uh, it's no contest. Now as I mentioned the connection to the radio is just through their standard 3.5 millimeter stereo plug. Uh, the, the wire is not supplied, so it's something you've got to supply yourself to connect up to your radio. Now while the key doesn't come with uh, the wire, it does come with the, the Allen key that's necessary to uh, loosen up the set screws on the bottom of the key. So for me, the size and the build quality of this key really makes it ideal for my uh, future portable operating. I look forward to using this out in the field. The quality of this key, the level of German engineering in it, uh, really makes me say that this is kind of the Porsche of Morse code keys, uh, pun intended. So a quick shout out to Marcus, DL6YYM of Bomatech. Extremely well built key and I'm really looking forward to using this out in the field. So here's a final message for you.
Well, thanks again as always for watching and hope to see you on the air.